Yeah. Good morning. Um, in this final presentation of this session, we will jointly with David um, present some findings of the evaluation of teachers from the approach we will build on on the presentations of Tina and Caroline because there were some uh, some points of evaluation mentioned as as well. Uh, maybe I will start with the general framework of the project. As the aim of the project was to develop a series of learning opportunities with innovative teaching ideas to trial the suitability of the geo capabilities approach at schools in challenging circumstances. And there are um, different levels and different types of challenging circumstances in each school. We worked in total with 14 associate lower and upper secondary teachers. And uh, as mentioned, we lead them to trial the geo capability approach in their teaching of the topic of migration to uh, design the, the whole process of our work with associate teachers um, i will start with several uh, several boxes in this diagram uh, in the center of our attention was teaching migration to social justice but we had to start with the social justice dimension and it had two parts, the scientific rigorous definitions and the teacher's perceptions of what social justice really is. And we uh, then match this together to, to make uh, the suitable definition of social justice. The second part was um, teaching migration and our teachers were asked to identify the powerful knowledge related to migration and then we lead them to study the most typology of powerful disciplinary knowledge and then to reflect on their powerful disciplinary knowledge about migration just to select the most suitable knowledge to be included in their teaching. After then, as Karen already mentioned, the curriculum artifact deliberation and vignette writing uh, took place and it, it was a basis for the lesson plan that each teacher prepares for um, his or her own uh, classes. Then the teaching, teaching take place and then the evaluation. And this last step, the evaluation is our interest in this presentation and it will be structured according to the phases of the project, the planning, the teaching and the evaluating. The evaluation was uh, focused on the students' progression, students' feedback on the process of teaching and the uh, teacher's self-evaluation of their whole um, story in the, in the project. Um, in the face of planning, we are very interested if there are any tools that can help teachers to start thinking innovatively about their own teaching. And uh, we are happy to say that it was possible to identify several of them, but uh, um, it must be said that there are many preconditions that must be applied to, um, to make the whole process successful. Uh, especially it is the time allocation to innovations and to think innovatively, as was already mentioned by Caroline, and the level of teachers' open-mindedness. Uh, it means how open are teachers to reflect, critically reflect on their actual teaching and to think innovatively about the learning approaches they use. And back to tools uh, that help teachers start thinking. First of so-called tool is the creating of vignettes that um, support teachers' activities in two, um, two aspects. The first aspect is that it helps them to better understand the geo capability approach and to boost their innovative thinking. And the second aspect was um, that it supports their lesson planning and uh, better understand the topic related issues and reflect on the lesson structure. and identify the opportunities to scaffold learning uh, based on the identification of the possible bottlenecks in the learning process. The second tool is that is closely linked to the creating of vignettes is the deliberating of the curriculum artifacts that um, was used especially for setting the specific aims of the of the lesson. So it was a bit more specific step than the creating of vignettes. And the next tool was the 
process of making teachers familiar with the key concepts of the geo capability approach. It means to um, to understand what powerful disciplinary uh, knowledge is, what capabilities is, what types of powerful disciplinary knowledge are there, and uh, what does it mean to uh, make the curriculum, to design the curriculum, and so on. This helps teachers to reflect on their own knowledge, what they do or do not know about the topic of migration, to think what kind of knowledge is powerful and what kind of knowledge is not powerful, and then uh, which strategies can help them to develop this powerful knowledge in, in their lessons. And the last, but not the least, maybe the most important tool for starting thinking innovatively was the possibility to share ideas with colleagues, to, to meet them, to discuss um, uh, different approaches as this uh, leads to better understand the key concepts, they use the new language to start thinking critically, to practice the unit writing, and of course, to, to be inspired. Uh, colleagues, it means not only teachers, but the, the geography educators, teacher trainers, and um, geographers focused on migration. Well, some findings from the teaching or reflections on teaching. It can be said that teachers use a mix of pedagogical principles. Some of them were, um, were specific for geography or the topic of migration, but most of them are uh, were rather universal. And it must be said that uh, most of the used principles were by teachers perceived as uh, innovative or innovatively used in the given context. They especially focused on the prior knowledge and experience and this use of misconceptions and uh, leading their students to conceptual change. Most of the activities were student-centered, uh, stressing the need for the higher levels of students' en engagement. As this is the critical principle, how to develop the social justice dimensions in, in students. And uh, the next critical concept was the uh, bridging the, the theory and the real life using the life stories of real migrants, using the different techniques like storytelling, role playing, drama use, and so on. That was really focused on the development of empathy in, in students. Mm. All these mentioned techniques were was possible to use with the uh, reliable sources and data and the development of critical thinking about the information that are necessary to be used in the context of, of migration. Um, okay, let's go to the evaluation. Um, teachers' evaluation was mostly formative to support uh, their students to develop their powerful disciplinary knowledge. And uh, teachers mostly mentioned that uh, there were some kind of uncommon ways of evaluation. It was especially student evaluation and the peer evaluation that teachers are not used to uh, use regularly in their, in their teaching process. Uh, most of the lessons teachers perceive as effective as they positively affected students' powerful discipline knowledge and engage students in the learning process. On the other hand, there are several bottlenecks identified in the, during the teaching, and uh, it was especially related to the time management of lessons, but, but some activities like debriefing and thinking needs, uh, needs more time. Uh, but on the other hand, other activities was necessary to, to make shorter, uh, not, to, um, not to allow students to, keep their, uh, to, to lose their focus. And they identified some activities where more scaffolding uh, was, was needed. Um, how did students evaluate the, the teaching? Um, their responses were very positive and they really appreciate that teachers engage them to, to lessons uh, using discussions, inquiry, real-world data, attractive questions and problems that must be that, that that were addressed in the in the lessons and and so on that was kind in contrast with the content of the textbooks um, there were several limited identified that um, limits identified that limited students access to powerful disciplinary knowledge and these are mostly 
them is related to students, teachers, school and curriculum system and out of school environments. The limits related to students include mostly the, the overall motivation and engagement of students in learning and learning geography and um, the attractiveness of, of the lesson topic. And on the side of teachers, there are limits, uh, again, uh, related to the time allocation to develop lessons in powerful way and it's uh, limits related to their professional expertise. As far as school and curriculum system limits, uh, we can say that there are limits related to time and space de dedicated to geography lessons in the curricula, the strictness of the curricula and the content of the textbooks. And of course, there are some out of school environment uh, limits related to families media that uh, significantly influence students attitudes and can can support them in creating possible prejudices in this regard. And finally, we ask how did the project enhance teachers' expertise? Because we realized that it's a, it was a key part of their professional development uh, because they developed a migration-related curriculum and the project boosted their professional development in subject-specific knowledge, skills, and pedagogy and they really appreciate the possibility to share the experience regionally, nationally, and internationally that really opened their eyes and positively influenced their self-confidence. And now I will pass the word to David to continue in the presentation. Thank you very much, Martin. Um, and uh, yes, if you're, if you're happy to just move the slides uh, forward for me, because I, I don't think I can do that from here. Um, thank you. So I'd just like to conclude and, and summarise here um, what has gone before. And um, the project set out to uh, explore really whether geo capabilities has a social justice dimension uh, and in what ways it has a social justice dimension. And uh, it's, uh, I think um, we've got evidence to show that that it has and uh, in both conceptual or theoretical and some practical ways. Um, and three uh, ways that um, it can have an impact for social justice are reaching um, areas and schools and children and teachers working with those children and young people in areas la labeled as deprived and failing. Um, and I'll say a little bit more about each of these in a moment. Secondly, um, a very key finding, really, of the project, as Martin has explained there, is um, the teacher's relationship uh, with their teaching and with the discipline um, is supported and, and maintained and extended through the geo capabilities approach. Uh, and that's a, a really important um, aspect of the, of the project. And thirdly, uh, this word tools has come up a lot, and it, it's a word which is in the original bid to our funders. Um, to, for, we, were, we were setting out to see if we could uh, develop tools to um, evaluate how and how far teachers and children can access powerful disciplinary knowledge. And, and we even were suggesting a bit further than that to try to develop tools to evaluate powerful uh, disciplinary knowledge itself. Uh, so whether children can be, be shown to have um, developed those capabilities, uh, that powerful knowledge, and that is perhaps something that we can't actually show that powerful knowledge um, has, if you like, uh, become the powers that uh, young people have taken into their lives because that requires looking or researching through the future through or through time but nonetheless um, there are practical tools as well as conceptual tools that uh, can be helpful to evaluate the access to uh, the the potential if you like um, thanks so uh, next slide so th this first point reaching areas and schools labeled as deprived and failing um well I think you've seen from the other presentations that, um, that the teachers have been able to develop their curriculums uh, around uh, 
migration, but also pedagogies. And this is really important. And I'll mention this uh, again, powerful pedagogies, if you like, as well as uh, powerful knowledge. Um, but we did found, as uh, Martin has also said, challenges remain. Um, the exam performance and accountability, certainly in England, is a very big one, which pulls teachers into a sort of narrow, um, now narrow frame of reference. Um, but the teachers did, um, well, as, uh, as we've heard through the presentations, um, get beyond that, if you like, and were very uh, keen to get beyond that uh, and, and, and to extend and develop their teaching of migration. Um, sometimes school leadership um, and the overall school culture can be a barrier. Um, so too can entrenched views from home at times uh, that teachers have obviously limited capacity to change um, their students' wider views um, that, that come from home, such as sometimes stereotypical views or, uh, or, or prejudiced views. Um, student literacy levels was also um, a, a challenge um, where access to, um, to thinking and access to concepts is to an extent dependent on, um, on literacy and even articulating. So that was an interesting point that we found um, sometimes children uh, verbally were able to um, express themselves better than in writing. Um, and some of the evaluation tools that teachers used were uh, partly in terms of writing, children's writing, and that sometimes limits things because of their overall literacy levels. And of course, time. Um, an interesting finding about the uh, areas labelled as deprived and failing was that challenged areas often provide very interesting and, and if you like powerful local contexts, local contexts, geographical contexts of deindustrialization, um, of um, uh, different cultures mixing, change over time and so forth and that was an opportunity that teachers could seize to make the geography more meaningful and significant for the young people. Um, and as we've heard very uh, articulately from Mary, that an analytical framework for social justice can be developed. And these four uh, aspects of uh, social justice are, are very, very helpful, um, certainly in theoretical or conceptual terms, and they could be developed further in practical ways. Um, OK, thanks. Second point, maintaining the teacher's iterative relationship um, between their teaching and the discipline was a really big uh, finding from the project came through loud and clear that teachers really relished that opportunity. Um, uh, often teachers' professional development is, uh, there's not a lot of opportunity for subject-based professional development. So teachers relish that opportunity for geographical uh, professional development and particularly coming together, the collaborative element of geo capabilities is something that teachers really talk about and, and really value, both with uh, university geographers and other teachers and teacher educators like ourselves. So that coming together is really productive. Um, as we've heard, vignettes uh, and the concept of artifacts as well um, uh, are very useful tools um, that uh, were very productive. Um, Yeah, and that last point there, just com commenting on um, some of the, the more nuanced concepts. So that was something which came out uh, of this uh, uh, the connection with the discipline and uh, if you like updating or um, a, a revisiting of a migration geography to bring new ideas uh, and, and even old ideas like ideas of migrant home, um, if you like up to date uh, and in a more nuanced, more um, uh, complex way that really enriched their teaching and the students' learning. Thanks, Martin. The point I mentioned earlier that tools were a big part of the bid and what we set out to do. So some of those are conceptual tools, um, but in the project we were looking at developing further practical tools to evaluate. Um, and we found that those tools are possible to evaluate uh, access to powerful disciplinary knowledge. Um, but as I said, evaluating, if you like, the, how far a, a child's capability 
or capabilities as a human to, to make choices as they want to, to be free, uh, you can't really evaluate that without a longitudinal study to develop evidence. And even that would be very difficult, quite problematic. So in a way, evaluating powerful knowledge and geo capabilities uh, was beyond the scope of this project. But what we could do was evaluate the um, access to, if you like, the potential access to the powerful knowledge, the concepts and the contextual knowledge. Um, and some of these tools, we don't have a slide for it actually here, but um, one of the uh, really important tools which teachers developed was um, a um, interpretation of, of the theory that built actually on Tina Benneker's uh, work of a fourfold uh, breakdown of powerful knowledge, um, which drew from uh, ideas of significance from Klafke and, uh, and didactics, um, and also the concept of powerful knowledge from, from Young. Um, but the, the teachers, one teacher in particular, Dan Whistle, um, a brilliant teacher working on the project, uh, and we sometimes called it Dan's tool because uh, he, with other teachers working together, came up with a breakdown of, of these, these theories into four boxes, um, which were very practical ways that teachers could uh, plan. So the planning tool, we haven't, as I said, got it showing a slide of it, but that was very, very useful to both plan and then go back, as Martin said, uh, uh, sometime later and look at what children had learned. So it was breaking down theory into very practical boxes to think about uh, concepts and context to accessibility and structuring um, and, um, and future significance of what children already knew and what they would know in the future. Um, and uh, I think this point has come out uh, as well, but the stories, the reflections, one of the big things of the project, uh, which we set out to do was to produce case studies and stories uh, using story maps, um, Esri story maps. And that's been a very successful part of the project as well to, to get teachers stories. And those are on the website that's currently we're developing. Um, so uh, next slide, please. Um, uh, just to, to flash up this, uh, you've seen it, um, those of you who are uh, here yesterday as well. Um, this, if you like, captures that process um, of what we're calling a geo capabilities approach in, in quite practical ways. Um, and it's that planning area that I tried to just explain a little bit the way teachers have uh, worked together to, to break down theory and put it into very practical uh, ways that can be helpful. 